Welcome to another All Star Crypto video. Hope you guys are having an awesome time wherever you are around the world. I have been inundated with so many requests to do a Bitcoin update, which is exactly what we're going into today. I can tell you guys and girls, this has been from a lot of people freaking out about what's going on in the space as we speak right now there has been a literal five thousand dollar decrease in the price of bitcoin as you guys can see right there and a lot of people wondering what's going on as well as the altcoin space in general getting affected by this now the normal thing that happens is that bitcoin takes over the market at certain times and bitcoin dominance at 61 percent will definitely move the altcoin market in general, as you guys can see, there are 8,550 cryptocurrencies and the fact that BTC dominance is that much of the whole cryptocurrency space, it really shows that Bitcoin has been a big mover of this market in general. You guys will actually notice that a lot of the different coins, for example, Teller, they follow the same pattern as BTC. Right? Especially in the BTC pairing, which would do the opposite of what BTC is actually doing. And that is how it works in this space. I suggest you guys and girls check out the playlist that I gave you guys on Bitcoin updates. And just make sure you guys and girls are staying up to date with the news that actually moves the market. This channel is dedicated to no noise in the space so if you guys like that consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up also thank you guys for 500 subscribers that means so much to me going forward with this and i hope you guys are profiting in the best ways possible okay now let's do this so the fundamentals here are first by far just to give you guys insight i have said this time and time again over time this will go to at least 80 to 100k. I could see this happening in 2021 to 2022 at least. Now, why do I say this? A lot of people have been averaging different amounts of what the Bitcoin will go to, and usually none of them are right, 100%. However, there has never been more money in the space in general than now. So what I like to do is give a dumbed down type of estimate or guesstimate of where Bitcoin will go to. Of course, nobody can predict the future yet. <laughs> and <laughs> tinfoil hat. No, <laughs> no, um, nobody can predict the future yet, uh, though people will make you believe that they can. The truth of the matter is, fundamentally, it will go up to 80 to 100k for sure. And the reason I can see this is that we are nowhere near the euphoria stage of Bitcoin in general, but we are at the miniature euphoria stage of this right now, or getting very close to it as we speak. So, you guys got to understand fundamentally this is still sound at the 50k mark no need to freak out however this can see a further correction down to maybe the 48 or 50 thousand level because people are taking profits now we can actually see on something that you guys can check out i'm not going to open it because it's binance uh, but on the binance sheet you'll actually see that there are longs that have been taken out a very large portion of longs in btc that have been taken out that have been there for the past month and a half or so they've been longs for a very long time so people are taking profits now on btc and yes depending on how the correction happens there is a large sign if you're checking out other altcoins that the correction downward would lead to further correction downward, right? And again, this depends on what Bitcoin does 100%. You guys got to note that this is almost like an earthquake on a city and there's nothing creating a issue, a tsunami hitting this land right now, as long as Bitcoin is increasing slowly or just decreasing slowly. However, if there is a crash or a correction, and there is a huge drop on this earth, 
then it is very likely, in terms of earthquake, <laughs> that a tsunami could actually break up and hit the land. The point is, Bitcoin controls a lot, and that is because, again, Bitcoin dominance at 61%, it has enough to cause major stirs in the cryptocurrency market. So, especially, by the way, with 8,550, that is huge dominance. So, with that being said, the importance of this cannot be understressed. Again, it is going easily to the 80 to 100k mark, but there needs time for corrections. There always needs time for corrections. Can you guys see? Every single parabolic increase we've had up needs to be met with a downward breather, right? Just kind of, it's like you're sprinting, you need to take a break. You just do. You need to breathe, just kind of give it a bit. <laughs> you need to give it a bit before you can sprint again. So you can see that in terms of a sprinter, the sprinter is going upward, parabolically upward, so it needs to take a small break. Then it might go up again, then it needs to correct again and take a small break. And then it will try and sprint again, then it needs another break, then it will sprint again, needs another break. And this continues on for the whole bull market. So... You guys can see that. It had a parabolic increase right there. And yes, pretty choppy price action or uncertain price action, but that's the way the game is. You have to be in it to win the game. So what I would suggest for you guys and girls is not to panic. No need to panic sell more than anything and just kind of take a bit. Understand that what you guys are seeing, if you are looking at this graph, it's kind of like this, right? You guys see that to that? That to there, that to there. You guys can see the channel upward that it's going in in price parabola is very healthy. The correction right there is nothing to freak out about. Especially since, I mean, look at this. You guys see that wick downward? It went right down past that moving average. But the up side of this was huge. The buy up was huge. Now, can this be a, uh, a fake out? Yes, this can be a fake out. And that is why they're retesting right here, the bottom channel right here, as you guys can see. Now, again, it's never 100% accurate. It's to do with people's price action. Do you see any people that are robotic in this world? No, not yet. <laughs> so people are like that. So you could see a correction in this position. And that is normal. That is healthy. That is how it should be. As long as it's staying above the 0 0.5 level, the 0.5 level, we're good. So we could see this going upward if this tests higher on this retest. Now the issue here is this retest. This is what we. That's this is the bearish scenario, right? If this retest fails to go above the nine EMA, that you guys can see it here in red. If this fails to go above it on the retest, then we could see lower levels towards the 48k mark, etc. As you guys saw there, that's actually previous price action showing that there was a large, large, large buy-up over here around this level. Large buy-up. You guys see that? Major. So you could see that this could be the the area that it could go down to at the lowest point. So what I would be looking for is around this area buy up to if you guys want to buy the dip. However, if this retest is positive and we could see upward momentum. So that is pretty much it for this update. I mean, I could go so much more in depth and give you guys some like bull flags and uh <laughs> wedges and everything in between but that's all you guys need seriously you guys need to keep it simple understand that this is the way it is and it's really easy looking at a position like this to see the volume can you guys see the volume does it stand out to any of you guys and girls out there can you guys see it it's huge absolutely huge it's right here that wick right there has not been sold off at all right or not fully so you can see that and you can see the buy up of retail over there and the 
volume and you can see there was a sell off again and then a buy up over there. All right, messy. But that is all you pretty much need. Keep it simple in terms of your TA in general and you'll be way better off. The other thing you guys and girls can do, of course, is do this and yes, back into a mess and just see that it needs to hit above a certain level. Do you guys see that? If it breaks up to the upside here, we could see some bullish follow through here because it's actually printing a W or a W-ish shape. In general, is manipulated and sometimes you can't look at the technicals to be able to actually see price. You just do. And remember, like I said to you guys in the Q&A, technical analysis is looking at past price action to predict the future. You can never be 100%, but you can look for a number of variables to create the assumption of where this will go but nothing is ever 100% in this space so as I said look for a retest down to these points by the retest and yeah if you guys like these kinds of videos that keep the noise out of the space leave a like on this video consider subscribing and I will catch you guys for the next one tomorrow